వాళ్ళని కూడా వాట్సాప్ ఉంటే వాళ్ళతో కాంటాక్ట్ చేసి శివరామకృష్ణ గారు సార్ ఆల్రెడీ థర్టీ త్రీ పార్టిసిపెంట్స్ ఆర్ దేర్ సార్ ఐ థింక్ డాక్టర్ సుధాకర్ రావు ఈస్ రెడీ ఐ థింక్ యూ కెన్ స్టార్ట్ ద ప్రోగ్రామ్ ఎస్ సార్ ఎస్ సార్ మినిస్టర్ సార్ వెయిట్ చేద్దాం అంటే వెయిట్ చేద్దాం ఎందుకు నా వల్ల కదా అదే ఐ థింక్ నో ప్రాబ్లమ్ ఒకవేళ వెయిట్ చేద్దాం అంటే వెయిట్ చేద్దాం లేండి అంటే మళ్ళీ మీకు అంటే అనదర్ కదా అయితే బిజీ ఉంటారు మీరు లే పర్లే పర్లే త్రీ థర్టీ కాలేదు కాబట్టి ఇప్పుడు వీళ్ళ కమ్యూనికేషన్ ఇంగ్లీష్ లోనా తెలుగు కూడా మధ్యలో చెప్పచ్చా స్టూడెంట్స్ Uh, and also the MSc PhD students are also there in this group today. Uh, I think it is better to uh, speak in English so that... Uh, no, 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 just like that. Right, right, right. I think the color code of food is done. We didn't do it. Our guns are not ready. Shivaram Krishna, today uh, in this program, uh, I think uh, I requested uh, OMPG to invite all the, I mean, uh, to participate uh, this, uh, all the MS and PhD students also in this uh, today's uh, lecture. Sir, yes, sir. I have intimated uh, our department students also to join the today's program, sir. Already most of them have joined, sir. Okay, okay, okay. because uh, this will be a uh, very useful lecture uh, i think uh, uh, it is um, very useful to even uh, ms and phd students also um, that's why i requested all the uh, pg and phd students also to participate in this program um, how about these uh, elp students are they in uh, um, నాగరాజు వాజ్ బిజీ sir i think he has not uh, responded to my this whatsapp uh, this message also yeah. on behalf of him i will do the uh, welcoming as well as the vote of thanks for today okay 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 no problem and i have sent message this uh, whatsapp message to other colleges also 
ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ರಾಮಕೃಷ್ಣ ಸರ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಎಮ್ ಎಲ್ ಎ ನಾಯ್ಡು ಸರ್ ಐ ತಿಂಕ್ ದೇ ಮೇ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಸಿಪೇಟ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮ್ it is already 40 now i think we can ramana ramana ah start chestam ramana i'm my mother has to go to home yes yes okay yes yes he has already yes yes i think uh, we can start now the program it is already yeah, yeah. Uh, yes yes okay uh, uh good afternoon to all of you uh particularly i i extend hearty welcome to uh, dr dv sudhakara garu uh, the principal scientist uh, who is working in post rs division at uh, ilhr uh, hesarigatta bangalore and today is the 27th uh, lecture uh, in a series of uh, 30 lectures planned for this uh, student Uh, i mean citrus graduate readiness program so this is a uh, uh, one of the uh, unique programs organized by dr ysr hu uh, particularly for the benefit of uh, final year students uh, who are in uh, rave program as well as experiential learning program so last year uh, in 2021 a similar program was organized on coconut so that was a coconut uh, graduate readiness program so that was uh, highly successful so keeping that in view our uh, honorable vice chancellor dr p janeshwar has planned uh, uh, this uh, program citrus graduate readiness program this uh, year and it was uh, declared as this ramana color food color ravani ramana please please mute your color bag or the kitty get unta gan chudal ante inko color chusukodi sir ramana sir ramana please please mute yes yes sorry sorry for the disturbance uh, uh, so this year uh, uh, our honorable vice chancellor dr t janakiram garu has uh, planned this program uh, on citrus uh, because uh, uh, 21 uh, year has been declared as uh, year of citrus by dr professor articulture university so in this program uh, i think uh, uh, today uh, we have a guest lecture by dr dv sudhakar rao garu who will be uh, speaking on this post harvest uh, management and value addition in citrus so this is also one of the important uh, uh, topics in uh, citrus crop uh, so far we have covered all the management practices Uh, right from the cultivation to the harvest of the produce uh, i think uh, today's topic will definitely uh, enrich the knowledge of our students particularly on the uh, post harvest management of citrus crop and also the uh, value added products uh, that is, that can be prepared from the citrus fruit uh, i take this opportunity uh, to once again welcome our, our today's uh, guest speaker dr dv sudhakar rao garu Uh, to this uh, citrus graduate readiness program so with Thanks. this uh, few uh, introductory uh, words uh, may i now request uh, dr uh, bnp sivaram krishna garu uh, the faculty of college of horticulture anantaraj peta uh, to kindly introduce our today's guest speaker to the participants of today's program uh, may i now request dr sivaram krishna garu to kindly uh, uh, proceed uh, with the further uh, the session of the meeting thank you sir good evening to all i take this privilege of inviting you all the participants for the 27th guest lecture uh, a series of guest lectures on the occasion of the citrus graduate readiness program <clears throat> that is going to be delivered by dr sudhakar rao garu principal scientist uh, horticulture department of post harvest technology i have chat bengaluru my my hearty welcome to you sir good evening sir before starting here are the few introductory glimpses about this program sir uh, uh, a few points were already been told by our uh, respected associate dean sir but uh, um, uh, i'm just giving you a formal introduction and then uh, i will go ahead sir 
um, this information is for the sake of the guest uh, speaker of all the, the uh, participants of, of this program, sir. Uh, this is the um, uh, graduate readiness program, and Chepras is the, the brainchild of our Honorable Vice Chancellor, Dr. P. Janakram Garu, being supported by our, our, all our university officers, sir. And um, uh, this program is uh, envisaged for enlightening the important and the latest developments about the set of strap uh, the development across the globe. Um, about especially acid lime and the torrent cell. And um, uh, this is the second of its kind event uh, uh, happening in this university cell. A previous year was been identified as the year of coconut. And uh, um, as a part of that, um, uh, year long celebrations are conducted. And uh, similarly, a graduate readiness program on coconut has also been organized by the uh, our College of Architecture located in Venkatraman uh, Kodam. Um, <coughs> Uh, sir, um, here uh, um, our university and the college of um, staff of the College of Horticulture and Rajbata, we have all tried our level best uh, to open the, um, um, the experts um, um, from the, across the country, uh, from the uh, national institutes like uh, uh, National Research NRC and Citrus that uh, recently become an institute, and um, AICRPs, and um, uh, the uh, other important experts uh, from other AIP cent AACR centers located in India also said. <coughs> you are one among them, and all our students, as well as the staff, are very much eager to listen to your deliberations for today, sir. And um, um, before going ahead, uh, uh, for the sake of the information about the our uh, guest lecture today, um, I, I'm feeling privileged to explain uh, uh, his achievements as well as the contributions to the field of the post harvest technology by our uh, today's guest lecture, Dr. D. V. Sudhakar Rogaru. Dr. Sudhakar Rogaru is presently working as principal scientist of horticulture, uh, division of the post harvest technology in the Institute of Horticulture Research, Bengaluru. He, he has uh, completed his uh, master's degree as well as his doctoral program. From the prestigious Indian Institute of, uh, uh, sorry, IRE, Indian Agriculture Research Institute, New Delhi. After that, um, uh, since uh, uh, he got uh, 30 years of uh, service experience, uh, worked on post harvest management of various fruits and vegetables. Um, he he, uh, he personally involved in standardization of several post harvest uh, methodology protocols for uh, extension of the self life of various fruits and vegetables. Uh, Dr. Uh, Sudhakar Ravagaru has undergone foreign deputation training for one year at NFR in Japan and two weeks uh, training at uh, USDA APHAS USA. And uh, Sir has got uh, 55 research papers published in various national and international report journals and 14 book chapters and nine technical bulletins, 40 popular articles and 72 seminar abstracts. And uh, Sir has uh, guided uh, 11 MSc students and four PhD students as chairman, and 19 MSc and 12 uh, PhD students as member of the advisory committee. In recognition of his services, professional services, Sir has got the fellowship from the United Nations University. And also, Sir is the recipient of the J.S. Pruthi Award and J.C. Anand gold medal for his meritorious contributions in the field of post harvest technology in fruits and vegetables. With this brief introduction, now uh, I would like to request uh, Dr. Dr. Rao, sir, for the today's presentation. Sir, kindly go ahead, sir, for the presentation. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you very much for the nice introduction. <laughs> yeah. Shall I share? Sir. Is it visible? Sir, now share it, sir, for the full screen. Yeah, full screen. Okay? Yes, sir. Now it's all right. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Since it is for uh, your uh, undergraduate students, so I made the presentation very simple. May not be highly suitable for PhD and MSc. Okay? So I'll be just talking about the after harvest. 
how to handle how to pack how to store the citrus fruits uh compared to other fruits and uh, this one the citrus are what we call as a non climatic fruit that means they have low respiration rate there will not be any peak and there will not be any ripening changes after harvest suppose if you take mango banana so you harvest at green stage but they will be become sweet soft after harvest but in case of citrus we call them as a non climatic fruits so where there will not be any further ripening changes will be there so whatever the quality at harvest so that is the final quality only there will be some de what we call de greening it is not ripening the color will green color will change to yellow color but the so if it is ripening is there they will be more perishable but in case of citrus fruits so the problems after harvest is the mainly the moisture loss so in our science term it is the transpiration loss so that will lead to the shrinkage and shriveling and as you know most of our fruits and vegetable they contain 85 to 90 percent of water only so whatever we are buying it is only for the water okay so only the 10 15 percent will be the solid so if that water is lost it is a loss economic loss to the your the producer even the marketer or exporter who is there so that is the one moisture loss that prevention of moisture loss is the uh, very important so that is one of the loss which we are going to get after harvest then if at all anything is there the mechanical damage that can be at harvest during harvest during handling okay during storage during transportation let us see so then senescence okay that is the end of the life so then there will be post harvest diseases okay so that will occur because of the mechanical mishandling mistransportation mis storage or some will come from the field infection itself if you are not taken proper care in the field so that also uh, getting spoiled okay so then how we are going to minimize these losses okay so these can be minimized by following proper harvesting and handling practices then if at all any post harvest treatments has to be given so that is a suitable post harvest what is the uh, suitable post harvest treatment for uh, your citrus fruits so then right type of the packaging whether we are packaging properly or not whether packaging is protecting the produce or not so then the right kind of the transportation so then appropriate storage technique if you want to extend the life if you want to transport long distance if you want to uh, delay the uh, marketability so then what storage method can be followed so then other one is the value addition and waste utilization so this i will touch list less because already another one class might have be over and one or two classes are there on value addition okay i will just touch upon so then first you, if it comes to harvesting so in harvesting we have the three factors one is the what stage we are going to harvest okay so that is uh, <clears throat> that is the maturity so what whether we are harvesting at proper maturity or immaturity or over maturity then right time of harvest we means whether we have to harvest in during the heavy sunshine or cooler part of the day so that is the cooler part of the day is recommended so then correct method so whatever the method you are using that should not damage the fruit so that is the correct method of harvesting the produce that will prevent the post harvest loss so this maturity i told in case of climatic fruits they will be if at all immature fruits you harvest the problem but in this case only the quality will get affected okay so there will be many mature indices as a theory you, you might be learning so how many days uh, from uh, fruit set to harvest or what is the season then some visual appearances okay sometimes even the chemical so the farmers based on the uh, mainly go for the the time and the visual appearance so <laughs> so your sweet oranges 
whether it is sadgudi or nagpral so then generally the period so it is a based on depend on the variety it will take eight for eight months from fruit set so then it will turn to light green to yellow skin color so when the tss will be around 8 to 10% so another visual method which you can see there will be waxy shining when the fruit ripens uh, compared to immature so there will be wax coating will be there natural wax coating the shining will be there even the pomegranate tomato observe it will be very shiny so in this case the we eat citrus mainly for the juice purpose so if you don't harvest at right maturity the juice content will be less so the juice content should be around 40% and more so immature food definitely will have less juice so harvesting at proper maturity some coloration if it is there instead of dark green either it can be too dark green because it will be immature so light green color or little yellowish okay or sometimes some people can leave on the tree itself when it becomes more yellow so whether it is oranges even the limes also similar number of days so whether it is the size is developed or not based on the variety then uh, skin color okay so then wax development uh, juice content so these are the maturity indices which you. then i told the after maturity how we are harvesting the crop so any fault harvesting that will cause mechanical damage once mechanical damage or mechanical injury is there so that will lead to microbial entry so once there is a microbial entry okay there will be spoilage so whatever method you are using for harvesting you should not cause any mechanical damage so these are the general harvesting tips so one i already told because cooler part of the day because when the temperature is high so then your transpiration loss and respiration loss will be more so when the fruit temperature is high so then you will lose the more moisture so it should be always cooler part then after harvesting keep the produce in a clean container okay so generally it is always better to put in a use a plastic crates compared to your ganni bag or though handling will be easy but they will not protect the produce so and uh, okay, crates usage will be useful till it is marketed or even the stored during transport also it will be useful then after harvesting if you are not transporting immediately put under shade don't put in the direct sunlight so under the shade of the tree or in a nearby uh, uh, shed okay pack of shed so these are general tips for any so in case of uh, the citrus the harvesting if it is a big one big trees or something is there you can use the any type of harvester whether it is boom type or with uh, blade is there whether you are using the mango harvester support harvester so there are universities have developed different harvester you can use or there are less height where you can able to harvest with the clipper okay so the scissors okay a uh, sicature so you can use the uh, uh, sicature always we suggest always use the gloves while even while harvesting so even the nail sometimes if it is touching okay that will cause mechanical injury especially in export you should not have any scar mark on the uh, fruit okay so then when you are harvesting you can harvest using this one and don't leave too much of stalk because in case of citrus the stalk will be too hard so it should be less than 0.5 cm little enough okay otherwise that uh, stalk of that fruit a uh, one fruit will damage the other fruit during in packaging in transportation or in during uh, storage okay so then some cases will have the thorns that will may affect your uh, the person who is harvesting itself okay so this is a simple harvester where it can go inside one it will avoid the injury to the person who is harvesting okay in lime or lemon this is a simple uh, one where you have the hook so you can see the it, uh, it is a metal hook covered with the silicon rubber so that while pulling or this one harvesting this way the rod will not damage the uh, your lime or fruit itself so then this uh, small quantity one or two kg can collected in this then put it in a crate so this is how which can use very simple technique you can use the harvesting of the lime where thorn never thing is the problem you can go uh, center of the tree for harvesting 
so this was i was telling so while harvesting another thing you have to take care is i told you can have the very you should not have this must stock okay so two must stock will damage the other fruit okay so then at the same time what you call in the citrus the button so the button should be retained so that this will help to avoid the any uh, disease say infection so this button the once this button is removed there is a chance of your stem and rot from here there will be secondary infection where whenever you store in a high humidity uh, package or high humidity cold room okay so that's why you should have button and at the same time stock should not be too high okay so that will damage the because it is very hard unlike uh, in an, uh, other fruit uh, this year the stock will be very hard then as i told after harvesting it should be always uh, handled in a plastic crates from the field itself so the, that i told na uh, it is always will help you during handling the transportation storage whatever if you want to send market okay so it may look very hard but there will be always damage if you are using a gunny bag or other thing while handling okay see this how so while transporting if you transport loosely like this so we you can see the people so they think that they are heroes posing for the photos but they are standing on the crop itself okay so how the bottom in uh, fruit will uh, bear the weight of these not only the fruits on the persons who are meant for loading or unloading so here it is losing in case of lime lemon still uh, gunny bags also they think that it is like a, any uh, grain okay so that should not be uh, more helpful okay i will not say uh, it will completely spoil but it, they are not more useful the same thing if you can able to transport in a plastic crate as i showed earlier the same plastic crates there whatever the height you up to whatever the height you want to handle you can handle there no problem because the, the 20 kg or 25 kg crate when you are using the bottom fruit can bear only 20 kg okay the remaining weight bear by, by by the crate not by the fruit so similarly you can use direct transport you can use the cab boxes whether the cab box tank should be good so sometimes if it is very long distance uh, so you can use the seven ply or even five ply uh, boxes so these these two will definitely avoid the all the three types of damage that is can cause during the transportation so during transportation there are three types of damage are expected so one is the compression i told if you put a loose one so the bottom one will get compressed that is called compressed damage then vibration damage again if you are putting in the loose or uh, then there will be uh, our roads will not be so good uh, there will be lot of uh, shaking of the vehicle so each uh, the, the, that is called vibration damage so the another is the impact damage so loading unloading if it is a heavy bag and other things they will just dump it so that will have the impact damage so these are all the three types of damage will occur during transport so those damage can be prevented if you transport the your produce in either crates or cfb boxes of good strength so not just like that uh, uh, we have mentioned uh, we use the cfb box the strength of the cfb box itself not good means there no use so sometimes you can reuse these boxes also so then uh, the primary processing operations so unlike in other fruit uh, something here the operations are not too many so one is the sorting then it can be washing okay then the grading then some pre treatments to extend the life <coughs> we'll just discuss uh, each of these operations in brief so sorting why we have to sort it out and what we have to sort it out so when you are harvesting so each one we may not able to select and harvest so there may be fully immature there may be under sized one there may be damaged fruit there may be mechanically injured fruit okay there may be diseased fruit there may be insect attack fruit so these all especially the it is a must for the export operation even the local marketing for grading and something 
If these are there, you will fetch the latch. So the, again, they may spread the infection to the healthier one. So these has to be sorted out. So sorting, if it is possible, it can be done in the field itself. Okay, before even transporting. So the, again, if at all you are doing a pack house, it is always done before washing. Why you want to uh, wash a produce which is already uh, we want to remove it, sorting out. So <clears throat> this is how we can do even manual sorting in the field. So all you, uh, the uh, uh, damage, disease, or rot, and whatever is there, we can uh, uh, remove it. Okay, then we can transport the better one. But in the pack house, once it is put uh, in a heap, it is very difficult to sort it out. So in the modern pack house or whatever the pack house, if you are developing, there should be a sorting conveyor. So whether it is a roller conveyor or moving conveyor, so or at least a sorting table to spread the produce so that we can able to sort it out. So moving conveyor always uh, better so that you can, the fruit can be in citrus always there round, it can be easily turned and see the damage on all the sides. Okay, so that can be sorted out. So if it is only mechanical damage, something that can be used for any other processing purpose, may, may not be for fresh. Fresh you can remove for processing purpose, you can, since it is only mechanically damaged one. So these are sorting conveners uh, we can use. Whether it is very small level to very big level are there. Then your washing. So in some cases, you have uh, harvested and put it on the uh, directly sand, you are not collecting the crates. So the soil also will touch or the, after rainy, there may be uh, dust on the fruit. So there will be microorganisms again on everywhere, microorganisms present everywhere, including on the fruit surface. So by washing, we can able to reduce the load so that during storage, uh, something, the, the infection will be less. So washing in citrus, we can wash with water. Then when washing, it should be carefully washed and it should be clean water. Again, using dirty water, there's no use. And in washing, if somebody still, if you want, we can use the, as a sanitizing agent, like chlorine. You can use the chlorine. So up to 100, 200 ppm of the chlorine is uh, permitted. So sodium hypochlorite is the chemical from which is the uh, active ingredient for chlorine. So we can just uh, dip in five minutes, something like that. So, okay. So in the chlorine, so that will act as a uh, surface sterilant. So then after uh, washing, it has to be, excess water should be dried before packing, okay. So this bit is a small quantity, you can do it uh, manually also in the tub sal or uh, mechanically in the pack houses, there will be the sprayers, okay. So then bottom there will be brushes. So when you are using the uh, this commercial washer, see that these brushes itself should not damage the fruit. Sometimes these brushes are so hard, that will self cause the mechanical damage. So that has to be taken care of because I've seen in many pack houses. So this itself, they, they just think that it is like any utensil washing. Okay. So that will damage the fruit while washing. So it should be soft, soft bristles will be, should be there. Otherwise, even there no, there no dot and uh, that one, even it is not even required. You can have a, and a roller itself, it can be just rolled. Then afterward, there will be sponge roller. Okay, so that will absorb the excess moisture. Okay, so then uh, then it will further go for the, the treatment. So either the sponge itself will can absorb the excess water, or there can be blowers, fan blowers, or even hot air blowers will be there that will dry immediately. So the washing followed by surface drying mechanically. It can also it can be done in the citrus. I am just showing photograph whatever I have. It is a common for any citrus fruit. Then we say the sorting is over. Then the next operation is the grading. So grading, why you want to grade? To fetch the better price for the better product. Okay. So then that means it will fetch there the marketing. You already, you can communicate long distance. Okay. So without even showing our produce. J grade means the, when the size or uh, weight is fixed, you can say my Sadhguri oranges has got A grade of weighing this one. So that will give us the marketing. So then you will get the better price for the good size and maybe instead of mixing all. Okay. So then it can be 
there will be size gradients there will be way graders okay so sometimes color shape the sound is clean these are the different types of grading but generally we go for the size grading or weight grading since it is round foods even in case of citrus we can go for the size grading which is easier okay suppose uh, yeah uh, this i was just uh, showing for the oranges these are the international grades codex standards where the grade one these grades are fixed but only thing is 10% uh, variation is allowed even in the international codex standards so the grade 1 6.5 cm diameter above grade 2 so these are the grade fixed once you say your product is grade 1 then your size should be this much but 10% variation is always allowed so like similarly like lemon so you suppose if it is weight grading they say that minimum weight of the any lime lemon should be more than 50 grams or the diameter should be more than 4 cm okay so these are uh, how the international grades are there again uh, one is the codex standards which are internal grade sometimes if you based on the importing country their grades may be different so we have to satisfy them okay so then based on the, our variety all we have to do so the again grading sometimes since i told you 10 percent variation is allowed so sometimes by experience even manually itself they can grade it even here it can be color based grading a yellow color uh, green color can be color based grading can be done otherwise so these are the mechanical graders where there will be this conveyor moving conveyor belt along with that there will be rod so the distance between the conveyor moving conveyor belt from the starting to end it will keep on increasing so then since they are moving your uh, citrus fruits will they will it will be pushing here so the smaller fruits will fall near and the bigger one cannot fall there then it will keep on pushing the last big one will fall at the the last stage so here the, like that there will be you can divide the grades how many you want how much variation you want that can be created so this is how it will be keep on moving it is a this is a mechanical grader which are uh, uh, installed in uh, our pack houses okay so then finally once it comes out at a different uh, each grade will have the uniform size okay when you pack it you can see the uniform size so that will fetch the better price and at the same time it is a must for the export so this is how including the you can see the color so all are same uniform color uniform and size so this is how the grading is done then <coughs> to some treatments to we'll see how we can able to extend the life of the uh, citrus to increase the your the market quality so one is we call waxing so once waxing once we know that so earlier the term is waxing now we say the surface coating or sometimes even the edible coating of course in uh, case of citrus it since we don't uh, eat peel uh, so whether it is uh, uh, the coating is edible or not it may not that much immaterial but they are definitely uh, coated with the uh, permitted edible coatings only so because these coatings are either carnauba wax what you call carnauba wax it is nothing but a plant from the plant this is extracted so which is edible then bee wax from the beehive or chitosan so these are again a carbohydrate based uh, polysaccharide okay so this is extracted from the crop shell okay so this are chitosan so then chitin chitosan then even there will be synthetic uh, wax coatings those are mixtures of the your sugar and oils what do you call the uh, sucrose esters of fatty acids so there will commercial like earlier uh, semper fresh stay fresh these are the synthetic waxes but these are also permitted so whatever so don't we, should, we cannot ask you to use the candle wax not that those type of wax whatever we have access you are using even the apple so those are if they are using permitted there is no problem at all so these are meant to reduce the water loss okay and also once it is a coating is done already there will be natural wax coating little okay then it is a further coating that will reduce the, your respiration rate water loss so that means your weight loss is prevented so that uh, at the same time it will be more say, shining it will improve the sale appearance only thing is based on the wax which we are buying or bags which are using so there should be uh, 
uh, you have to uh, take some precautions. So you should not wax a, uh, a dirty produce. Okay. So before waxing, it should be clean and dry. So then often thickness is important. That means the concentration of wax. Because these waxes are all are their emulsors. So suppose cartesan is there, it is a powder. So that can be mixed with the uh, proportion in a actually cartesan is dissolved in the acetic acid, 1% acetic acid. So it cannot be fully not be dissolved in the water. Okay. So acetic acid, nothing but is like 1% uh, is nothing. Okay, that is a permitted again. Because vinegar itself, 4% acetic acid we are using, we are uh, uh, eating also. Okay. So then uh, these are the emulsifiers. So you can uh, change the concentration of the wax, whether it's 3%, 6%, 12%. Okay. So like that, you can make different concentration and what for uh, based on the recommendation we have to use. Yes. So too thick because it will create off flavor and too thin will not have the any effect on your moisture. Okay. So, so this we can use the uh, based on the recommendation, you can use the optimum concentration. And again, this vaccine, if it is very small scale, you can use even just to dip it and take it out. Here, there no time is required to for coating. It is suppose there is a wax solution, you have a big drum, you dip it and take it out. It will form a based on the concentration that much thin layer will form. Okay. So otherwise, in a commercial one, like water spray, there will be still fine spray of nozzles. Okay. So after drying, it will pass, it will again continue to go to the waxing where your wax will be, solution will be finely sprayed. So, and this will grow. So, then it will, then followed by it will be hot air blown. Either sometimes hot air, even fan also, it will dry. It. So, once that is dried, it will able to prevent your moisture loss and it will extend the life to at least certain extent. Okay. And it will be more shiny. So, this already many citrus we are seeing even the market. This is how waxing is done. So, waxing can depend on the uh, variety and even the temperature. Room temperature means it will vary. Suppose winter, some temperature will be there. So that's why we cannot say exactly how many days it will stay. So, uh, so based on the temperature, it can be two weeks, three weeks, okay, compared to control. Or at low temperature, it can go even months. So almost two months, it can be, uh, uh, sorry, uh, one month to one, one and a half month at uh, temperature, okay. So here, as I told, it can be wax, all stay for these are the different directions. and these are concentration recommended. Okay. So sometimes in case of citrus, since we are not eating the peel, the permitted fungicide can also be mixed with the wax so that it will control the green mold and blue mold, which is a storage disease. Okay. So this is a thing which you can see the two months stored uh, orange in a at five degree low temperature. Room temperature it will not stay for that much long time. So this is another type of wax. Fruit eggs at room temperature for sweet orange, you can see the two weeks it is still uh, there, no shriveling. At the same thing, up to two months, it is a with minimum uh, weight loss. You can able to store and uh, the juice. So you have to see the juice content. Okay. Once it is dry, the juice content will be less. Okay. So then in some cases, even some growth reg uh, regulator segment here to keep the green color because some in foreign countries all. Lime in local market, uh, we want a yellow color, but in other country, they want a green color. So uh, with uh, senescence, the green color will be degreening. So to keep the green color, uh, GA3 is recommended at 100 ppm concentration. Okay. It is just to, to opposite to degreening. Then packaging. So. Uh, I told the packaging, the main purpose of packaging to assemble the produce, to protect the produce. So packaging itself should not damage the produce. Okay. So that's why I told you should have the mechanical strength. That means how many plies are there. In each ply also, whether the paper, GSM of the paper, okay, whether it is 200 GSM, 180 GSM. Okay. So then, then the other characters are there. It should not be, uh, it should be virgin material. It should not, the packaging should not contain a toxic chemical. So then the size of the packaging, suppose if you're exporting based on the importing country, you have to see whether they want 4 kg box, 10 kg box. Then at the same time, they're using the cooling. You should allow the rapid cooling. Then it should be recyclable. So then finally, the cost also matters. Okay. So the packaging selection, it depends on the different factors. 
then uh, suppose sometimes even uh, still we use the nylon bags and uh, other things for the local market otherwise ab boxes we can use so the box type i told five ply seven ply whether it is a two piece or the single type and again when in the export the size of box depend on the the bottom pellet i will be showing the pellet huh? so it should fit to the pellet okay you cannot use the whatever the size of the box watch because people cannot handle individual box while loading and unloading especially in the export so that should fit to the pellet so that i will be showing that one okay <clears throat> so otherwise this is the common practice which may not give 100 100% protection for the produce when you are packing so otherwise these are the within the cfb box also how you are separating how you are preventing the vibration damage how you are preventing the compression damage okay so what are the types you can use any any type of the mechanism here you can see even the layer three four layers in a box is separated by another uh, cfb one uh, ply sheet okay so then each can be separated comb type like even uh, apple will be seeing this one okay so we never pack a lime in a cb box but in export all other things you can see that these are neatly packed in a uh, cb box of the good strength and uh, as i told you in foreign country the florida they prefer the green lime than yellow lime in our case okay so these are different it is a two piece box here it is a single piece box this is what you call telescope box so bottom one top one so any type of the package can be used only the size uh, depends this is another type to attract the children in the supermarket okay generally people uh, children like to buy only chocolate or other things so they should get attracted to fruits also so that they can force the parents to buy the fruits so the packing they make the so attraction so that you can able to here it will be small 1 kg or 2 kg boxes then another packing method where you can able to extend the life to great extent so this what you call as the individual shrink wrapping where the first the film is uh, loosely packed then it will come like a, you can see it you can say it as a lamination but only thing is these uh, films are breathable they will allow the uh, fruit to breathe but at the same time the water loss transpiration loss will be prevented like anything because they are very low water transmission rate they will have very low tra water transmission rate so this is the here it is it has to be done with the machine <clears throat> okay so suppose you have the your uh, satgudi oranges then uh, e e each one you just loosely pack in a one fruit in each uh, cover okay so that is using any normal chip seal or anything so once they are loosely sealed this can be done manually even for this also there is a automatic uh, uh, form fill seal machine is there okay but that will cost you more so then once this is ready this is a hot air tunnel where the temperature of the air inside this blown hot air blown is around 170 degree centigrade but the fruit is passed for very few seconds like 20 seconds so then by the time it comes from one side we are uh, feeding the other side will come so it will be, the film will get shrunken you can see here it is like a lamination okay so then within 20 seconds it will be one ton can be made uh, done in a one hour in the using this machine okay <clears throat> since it will uh, only expose to the high temperature for very short time the fruit temperature will not rise uh, may, may be half degree so that is not a problem okay so once it is done like this as i told it will greatly reduce the weight loss even after 3 weeks at room temperature the weight loss suppose if you don't do anything if you don't do waxing if you don't do anything you lose daily almost 1% weight okay so up to 3 4 days will not uh, be able to feel the shriveling symptoms or drying symptoms but after that it will see but without unvisible weight loss will be there daily 1% but using this technique the weight loss will be less than 1% okay so you can see we can see here <clears throat> okay even 4 week if it is low temperature even 2 month the weight loss will be less than 1% so there is another Uh, method call the cling wrapping this is entirely different than the shrink wrapping here it is only which you see the in the supermarket like your maize ka ball so this is only for the very small here it doesn't require any machine you can just use with a hand 
so the film will stick to the film so this also will prevent moisture loss but only that like few days maximum a week afterwards it start uh, drying but still it is better than uh, without any other treat treatment okay so this is just to show the comparison between the uh, different uh, treatments that will i told na the moisture loss is the problem in uh, citrus how this different techniques can uh, control the uh, moisture loss you can see the red one definitely always the non wrapped one okay so by 3 weeks or 4 weeks at bangalore condition 20% is lost okay in the control the same thing with the shrink wrap it is just less than 2% around 1% only okay so then you can see the wax it still there is a weight loss but short period it is okay okay similarly cling film is better than uh, uh, compared to your uh, other thing okay uh, waxing the weight loss will be less but still it is uh, much uh, uh higher in compared to shrink wrapping so this is how the this shrink wrapping technique will prevent the moisture loss similarly the low temperature also you can see very less less than 1% even after 7 8 weeks then uh, come to the storage technique <coughs> suppose uh, you want to store in a cold storage because citrus some cases you can able to store up to using different in in combination with the other treatments you can able to uh, store up to uh two months also even three months also shrink wrapping you can go on up to three months so so you once you are decided to store in a cold room so there is another thing called pre cooling so this is only to bring the fruit temperature to low temperature uh, storage very fast because oranges all uh, you have to store at 6 to 8 degree and you are harvesting in the summer at 30 35 degree the same thing if it put in a cold room it will take lot of time to bring down the fruit temperature to storage temperature using the pre cooler you can able to reduce the fruit temperature to storage temperature within 4 to 6 hours it is our air will have the big fans with forced air so cool air will be forced through the produce so that from 35 to 40 degree to 6 to 8 uh, degree it will reach within a few hours it should not be more than 8 hours okay so within you have to do immediately force air cooling is the generally so pull down temperature within 6 to 8 hours okay so then once it is pre cooled there is no uh, fun in keeping outside the uh, at room temperature it has to be immediately shifted to uh, cold room so this is how the pre cooling even after putting in a uh, safety box or in the crates it can be pre cooled because there will be ventilated holes and uh, air will be forced through the produce and uh, the heat will be removed okay so then immediately after that it will be you can be stored in the low temperature low temperature is the best method for enhancing the shelf life of any fruit or vegetable okay because it reduce the respiration it reduce the transpiration it will uh, delay any sense okay in this case there is no ripening okay so then it will also delay the uh, spoilage okay so these are the modular cold rooms what we call walk in cold rooms so which is the puff panel one so you can uh, Uh, wherever you want to install you can install if you want dismantle again dismantle and put it earlier constructed cold rooms now it is a modular cold rooms okay so then here what are the temperature based on your variety okay so you can use the produce you can set the temperature below ambient to as low as 0 degree the fruit no fruit can be stored in a fresh from below 0 so the lowest temperature for fresh storage is 0 degree of course in our case it is only Uh, citrus fruit the lowest is around 5 to 6 degree only below that so these are the modular cold rooms you can see the how hygienic inside so these are curtains so that if you are loading unloading time the temperature of the room should not be drop otherwise there will be air curtains okay so if you are not storing at optimum temperature okay suppose now like oranges the 6 to 8 degrees the uh, optimum temperature the below 5 degree what you call the chilling injury suppose in case of banana you might have easily observed if you put banana in a your refrigeration uh, in a refrigerator in the household it will turn to black so that is also one symptom of chilling injury in case of citrus also there will be pitting there will be branching so these are the uh, if you don't store at the uh, optimum temperature maybe very short period few days you can store but uh, long time storage uh, uh, sub optimum temperature will lead to chilling injury that will affect the uh, this one then finally they will even subjected to uh, spoilage okay 
So uh, compared to oranges, the limes, we request slightly higher temperature, 10 to 34. Maybe for short term storage, even you can use for the uh, 6 to 8 degree. But you want for long term and you want for the color to develop 13, 10, 13 degrees the thing. Always humidity should be higher. Now in the cold room, we put a ultrasonic humidifiers, which will produce the, convert the water into fine mist. So it is like a fog and cold. Okay. So that will be useful to maintain the humidity. So in case of lime, below 8 degree for long duration to uh, develop the chilling injury. And the symptoms are similar to uh, oranges. And when somebody is storing at low temperature, so there are some miss, miss this one. Okay. So then one is any metal can be stored. Uh, whatever it is not uh, sold in the market, I will just put in a cold room and then. Uh, so the in, if you want to extend the life, the initial quality should be definitely higher. Then any temperature can be used. I told you that it will be specific for each the uh, citrus uh, type of. Okay. Then any length. Again, you cannot store for very long period. So of course, we are uh, citrus is uh, the like uh, the lucky enough this crop. So we can able to at least store in a months. Okay. In some cases, it is only the weeks. Okay. It will control the spoilage. No, it will only delay the spoilage. Okay. Then inferior quality after storage. Definitely once we recommend uh, some temperature for certain period, it will should be able to maintain the quality. It will definitely maintain the quality. If not 100%, at least around 90% quality will be not nutrition loss will not be very high. So the cold storage fruits, you cannot say that they are inferior in quality. Okay. So this was, I was telling the pellet. So the to handle the boxes, okay, there is a bottom, <clears throat> either it is wooden, then there will be this wooden uh, pellet or it can be as a, even plastic pellets are come. So this uh, pellet size is, uh, the internet standard, there are two types, 100 into uh, 120 or 100 by 80 size. Okay. So the width and length. So your box size, whatever you're selecting, it should fit whatever the arrangement you made, it should be tightly it should not be loose then they will uh, secure it with done with the tape and everything like this this is the corner poster they will secure so that the box is all should be the it should fix the that's what i was telling the box size depend on the pellet size because we they cannot handle each box separately even during cold storage taking out during transportation during export the sea shipment all will be done like pelletization so then this will be handled with the with the small one hand pellet otherwise there will be mechanical forklifters will be there to handle this produce so this is just uh, for some people they say so we have farmers uh, very small scale whether you can able to store so as i told my cell has the problem in the citrus uh, fruit we can able to i i of course here i showed the capsicum photo uh, don't mind so these are like a palace like structure with the Three, uh, around 300 gauge polythene cover, dome shape, just to show the dome shape, I put this one, or you can use the still either any dismantable uh, polythene tent. Inside, suppose you are oranges, we have put inside, okay. So then, whatever the transpiration water uh, vapor uh, released by the fruit itself will be trapped inside this uh, bag, okay. You can see uh, the both control and uh, this one inside one at day one, both will be same. Okay. So then the same thing which is put inside one, which maintained high humidity, you can see after 10 days. Here it is still shining. Here it is already the control surface has become dry. That means inside this uh, Paltin tent, uh, we are able to maintain the humidity, which is initially released by the fruit itself. Okay. You can see the weight loss. Within the tent, the weight loss after 10 days only 3.6. I am not telling it is less. Uh, around 3.6 the same thing it is almost three times more okay so this much weight loss can be it is a short term but to too high humidity very high temperature outside long time if you want to keep inside there will be mold growth will be there okay uh, this is just to show that in here uh, there will not be any ripening but for to show the degreening process i have put this one the commercially the ethylene gas that is has to be used for the degreening of the citrus fruits wherever you want to have the yellow color fast. Okay. Otherwise, by that time it turns yellow color, you lose the lot of weight loss. So the suppose some market you prefer yellow color that time, degreening greening you can be used by using the ethylene gas. The ethylene gas can be produced by the cylinder or generator. So inside your citrus fruits is put, there will be sensor for measuring this ethylene. You put you uh, 
fix the ethylene gas like 10 ppm or whatever this one required for degreening and the gas will be pumped inside okay till it is uh, in case of other fruit once you expose the fruit to ethylene gas the fruit itself will produce the ethylene further so we will be doing only triggering but uh, in case of citrus which is a non clavitic fruit and very it will not produce any ethylene even if it produces very minute quantity that will not do the degreening okay that will take long time that's why we have to expose continuously to the ethylene gas till it is degreened okay or the other one the, again this is a banana uh, photo but i just want to show the ethylene generator where you put the liquid inside the generator and uh, it requires power that will generate the ethylene gas then your citrus fruits can be put inside the chamber and uh, it will degreen okay so this how uh, earlier uh, they used to dip in uh, ethyl solution for degreening but now as for the food safety and standard authority of india for uh, ripening and other purpose only ethylene gas is permitted nothing other thing is not permitted so that's why ethylene uh, the fruits has to be exposed to only ethylene gas in case of other fruits we expose up to 100 ppm and only for one uh, day but in case of citrus it is lower concentration till it degrees especially up to two three days it may take so uh, this is the effect of the degreening if you want where you don't want degreening it has to be no need to do this operation okay so just to show that how the ethylene gas can degreen the your citrus fruits then there will be precaution during transport is a general precaution it has to be i already told that impact uh, uh, damage uh, you should uh, avoid uh, um, compact uh, the damage okay then vibration damage okay. so these are the when you are transporting vehicle you should not be directly exposed to, at least should, at the same time your transport container should not be fully closed because the carbon dioxide released by the fruit it will be accumulated inside the one that will lead to your uh, off level development so so it should not be there should be proper ventilation in the transport container just to show that uh, different operations so the orchard your harvesting then collecting in a uh, uh, crate uh, then better transport you have done uh, proper transportation then you sort it on a uh, sorting conveyor then washing it if you want to use you can use a chlorinated water then surface dry it then if you want to give a wax coating you wax coating then dry it then grade it then pack it then you want to whatever you want to store it you want to simulate it immediately you want to transport it long or you want to export it this can be done the same thing in another one so where the kino mandarin which is done in the uh, mainly north india you can see they have put it for the washing because there it is alluvial soil lot of uh, dust will be there so washed then it is same grading so all operation need not be all so up to grading waxing all the waxing is done okay then uh, for export there will be uh, indices quality indices will be there okay this has to be it should be smooth waxy free from decay there should not be any defect okay there should not be any blemish so for export nothing i told nothing that's why i i told even while harvesting one can use the gloves so that the nails itself okay so, so it should be free from everything except the fruit <laughs> okay so these are the uh, for other lime, it's same. Okay, like that means what I mean to say, like scab damage, this another blackening, these are they are should not be do should not be do at all, should not be there at all. Okay. Then some storage problem, just to, to say that green mold, blue mold, there will be stem and rod, there will be these are the this mainly will come for the um, mechanical injury through the injuries. So the while if you this is just to show the foot blue mold, green mold, these are like even mango stem and rot will be there in even case of citrus fruit. so these all will be prevented mainly avoiding the mechanical damage during harvesting handling or you can wash it properly to remove the surface one or use the sanitizer and uh, uh, immediately cool the temperature then don't expose the fruit to ethylene because uh, degree greening is other process where it is required otherwise if you uh, does more the ethylene more sensation then it will spoil okay then i will just i as told now i will just cover very briefly of the what are the value added products can be uh, made from the citrus so these are the methods processing techniques which you have so using these techniques you can use uh, make into any product so like heat processing 
like canning we have the drying we have the freezing there is a free drying by chemical the fermentation by pickling these are the standard method using this method you can you make into different products okay so i don't uh, i uh, because time is also this one less and again there are uh, already i saw in the list there are value addition lectures are there okay so the uh, you, heat pressing where you use the heat pressing mainly when you are making the ready to serve beverage or when you making the squash when you making a cordial okay so whatever uh, these juices which you are making there you can use the heat processing so it is can be normal pasteurization where the juices are reheated at a uh, uh, slightly low temperature for long time or flash pasteurization high temperature for short time so then they are bottled and then sterilized so these are where we can use the heat pressing as a technique of the preservation so whether it is lime or orange or mosaic juice whatever is there only thing is in some in case of citrus the bitterness is the problem so you can uh, extraction of the juice okay since it is uh, present in the uh, white portion of the albedo or uh, juice sacs so extraction of the juice can be uh, taken care so that they were bitterness will not come into uh, juice okay so this is a heat pressing <coughs> then so <clears throat> these juices can be made from your mandarins sweet oranges or lime lemon whatever is there from any fruit you can make into any juice only you have to adjust the tss as per the food safety and standard authority of india guidelines earlier it was the fpo now it is fss so minimum juice content minimum tss you have to use and permitted preservative up to the uh, permitted level only you can use okay so as i told these all limit of land 10% juice should be there in rts 10% tss okay then uh, if you are using a uh, uh, preservative <coughs> potassium metabase sulfate up to 70 ppm which is a source for sulfur dioxide so either you can use a pure juice or you can blend the juices the blending can be blending of with other citrus juices or blending with the other fruits like grapes you can blend it anla you, if you want to have more uh, vitamin c already citrus also will have vitamin c to have further vitamin c this one enrichment you can use the these are the different uh, blends all it is done by the research standard that much uh, uh, ratio can blend it and make it a juices so either single strength or or blend uh, uh, solo or blended juices or other thing is the squashes where your uh, juice content will be higher around 25% then your sugar content 42% then you can use the slightly higher so2 okay so because here uh, it will be 1:2 2 or sometimes 1:2 uh, 3 will be diluting so your so2 will uh, automatically come down to the permitted 70 ppm okay so these are uh, squashes hey, it is a simple you have to take sugar will be mixed in water you have to adjust the acidity then mix the water then uh, uh, mix it heat it okay after cooling can you add the so2 then bottle it properly okay so sometimes there will be cloud loss is the problem because uh, the juice it will get settled one is to avoid this one you can use the you can uh, do the homogenization technique to avoid the cloud loss or you can use the low methyl pectin or propylene glycol they have recommended once you use this one your suspension of the juice particle there will not be any settlement of the which you see in a squash bottle that will not be there then in other this one contains the concentration instead of single strength you can able to concentrate the juices okay using the uh, flash operator whatever in uh, higher uh, the commercial scale will be big uh, canva pal will be there okay the operator uh, concentrators will be there so you can concentrate it even up to somebody went up to even up to 80% degrees that means it is almost become like a more pulp okay so yeah, then once it is concentrated while concentration the oil so will be collected back this essential oil again they will add it back because the flavor should not be lost so then uh, then they can be pasteurized and directly filled or it can be chemically preserved also or you can store at a low temperature that, that will reduce the uh, chemical uh, preservation uh, strength 
whether it is orange juice concentrates or lime juice concentrate it can be done now sometimes they will first pasteurize the juice then go for the uh, concentrate so that the whatever the enzymes are there it will be immediately inactivated so that there will not be any browning will not be there so here also the essential oil record will be again added back to the concentrate <coughs> then the another method i told the canning so canning is generally in other cases like mango the pulp is canned so similarly here it, the juice can be canned or even the segments or in segments okay so that can be canned in a sugar syrup okay these are the in canning you can use the juice itself for canning or you can use the segments can be canned okay so this and again any canning this are normal when you are using your juicing uh, all uh, parameters uh, all operations will not be there otherwise in segments you can use the suppose segments whether you are using with peel or you can use live peeling you can use then okay so then blanching technique is to inactivate the enzymes then drying so this another <coughs> rn segments can be dehydrated okay so that is the uh, <coughs> so in the case of segment uh, dehydration it can be it can be put into sugar syrup and then uh, it like osmotic dehydration what you call so you put slowly uh, less sugar syrup or sometimes in the beginning itself we put the higher sugar syrup or we put the lower sugar syrup and cook it slowly to bring the sugar syrup to 80 so that water will come down to sugar syrup and ma from the segment and sugar will enter the segments okay so then <coughs> after draining the syrup then it will be semi dried for it not fully dried okay it will be semi dried so for up to 5 years so uh, sometimes some treat treatments they use the potassium carbamate and the dipping oil so that the quality of the product was good so this is how why this is how the segment dehydration this is another value added product from the citrus then once it is juice is there like any milk powder uh, juice also can be made into powder using the mainly the spray dryer so only thing is here while uh, spray drying it the juice can be mixed with the and what you call encapsulating that maltodextrin okay so that can be uh, first mixed then uh, homogenized then spray dried using the fine spray okay so this is then this powder can be used for any purpose again you want to reconstitute it can be reconstituted or it can be mixed with the many other in the cosmetic medicinal one or even health drinks okay so this spray it is a costly method but uh, milk already we are using similarly here also if you want to uh, spray dry the juice it can be sprayed dried and made into powder of course if you want to freeze the segments still you can able to uh, freeze or if you want to juice if you want to uh, extract the juice i don't want i cannot able to do it the same day processing or converted to gartis the juice can be frozen and then slowly you can up to minus 18 once it is frozen to ice it can be uh, used for any other plant it is a freezing is the simple technique okay so the juice also frozen technique also can be used then how uh, then there is a waste also okay so we can able to make the product from the even the waste suppose in case of citrus you get the peels as a waste you get the after juice extra and racks as a waste even the seeds are waste okay so peels can be used for the production of essential oil okay uh, so that has got the ready market for the perfume uh, trade industry then uh, so it is easily produced by the simple distillation method okay <clears throat> then from the peel and the pomes or the pectin so commercially uh, pectin is mainly extracted from the citrus only okay so worldwide it is only citrus because it is high rich in pectin mainly the albedo portion so sometimes even the residue can be converted to alcohol anything can be converted to vinegar or alcohol okay but only thing since the sugar is less here alcohol yield will be very less <coughs> even the commercial the citric acid also can be produced from the any citrus whichever the fruit is the having more citric acid this can be chemically <coughs> produced by the it is a commercial it is being produced then if you just see the how much waste you are getting from the citrus orange lemon 
50 percent 60 ramen in the form of field seed pomes okay which i as i told essential pectin it can be used for the even cattle feed okay <clears throat> so worldwide as i told now citrus is the peel is the one <clears throat> where you can able to they are using for the pectin production okay citrus skin can yield up to 2.23 uh, means 100 p 100 grams of citrus fish you take around 3 grams this is the highest okay compared to any other fruit waste okay if it is a dried peel we will get the almost 20 30 percent of the from 100 grams of dried peel we will get the 20 percent 30 percent of the pectin okay so we are whatever pectin we are using for the any jam making jelly making all other mainly we are importing so the same thing if you can able to produce from our own waste so it is good okay and a pectin extraction from the peel is very simple okay so uh, there will be suppose whether you want to do use fresh peel or if you don't want to be able to extract the uh, pectin from the fresh you can dry it you have to st uh, stabilize the raw material okay you can uh, stabilize uh, raw material by drying okay up to temperature so that during drying you know pectin is not that much heat sensitive so it, there will not be that much degradation then just to follow by acid extraction so dilute scl 0.05 normality like that will be extracting so once the pectin will come into your acid water okay once that is acid water pectin has come you remove the peels which are the leftover filter it so then to this extract we just add the alcohol okay alcohol will precipitate the pectin so once the alcohol pectin is precipitated so in that precipitation there will be other impurity also so that will be just you have to purify to remove those things those soluble solids okay so that will be uh, purified by using the acidified alcohol it's like uh, say, uh, 30 65 percent of alcohol with acidity 0.05 percent acidity you can purify it to remove those things okay then once that is removed then it will like a card it will be there that uh, we can dry it at low temperature high temperature will dry it will be the color of the pectin will not be light color it will be dark so then you just dry it at low temperature as low temperature so then powder it and pack it so alcohol uh, acid extraction alcohol precipitation purification then powdering so this is very simple anybody can able to extract the pectin okay so then uh, again i told her it is the other waste which can produce the essential oil from the uh, this i already told you okay so for a orange peel will be around uh, the yield will not be very high okay it is 0.5 percent but the economic value is very high so it can be extracted by the cold uh, press method okay <coughs> then even the seed oil can be extracted from the seed so seed uh, also, also a source of now we have a lot of medicine value all there so seed also oil also can be extracted from the seed even the seed also contain the protein and this much uh, fat okay the minerals <clears throat> so so kino seeds are the these are kino seeds which uh, i could cut from the literature okay so then i as, as i already told now, even the waste can be after all this also you can able to use the peel and this one as a animal feed also okay dried de-oil after uh, uh, removing the oil that will be, again become waste so that can be shredded mix with this one to uh, then in reactor so this uh, by adding this alkali you can able to demethyl of the pectin can be demethyl that water will be released so okay then water is uh, pressed then that can be used for other thing then only the dried peel and pomace can be fed into cattle so this feed the composition if you estimate it has got still 6 to 8 percent protein around 18 percent sugar then fiber we see the soluble fiber 6 to 8 percent so you can make it to animal feed peel powder or you can make it a briquettes, you can use even for the uh, as a fuel. Okay. Then now the recent trend is if you see that the uh, Nagpur, so they are mixing the citrus oranges juice, uh, this one, sacks into, uh, into the burfi. So this uh, even I have tasted, it will be very nice. We will get the citrus uh, orange uh, flex. You can make the alvas. There are other, these are like home scale. Okay. So even the, the sweet, the citrus can be, uh, this juice sacks can be mixed. <clears throat> so if I summarize, 
the validation uh, from the uh, i have taken just kino any it can be anything so from the flavido you can make powder candied peel marmalade essential oil from the albedo which i told which is the rich source of the uh, this one that's the pectin from the these are the non edible portion okay the edible portion the segments you can make the dry segment you can make the juice you can make the bar you can make the jam any product i told the water method okay juice powder you can make the concentrate at the finally these formulas also can be used for the cattle feed so from the seed again you can uh, make the uh, oil okay so this is to turmeric uh, each and every part of the citrus can be used for the converting to value addition okay i think i think that is all from the me i think i just value addition i gave slightly less time because there are other lectures thank you uh, thank you dr sudhakar raghur for your excellent presentation on this uh, post harvest management and value addition of citrus fruit uh, i think uh, it is just like uh, moving with an expert uh, in a well uh, furnished uh, post harvest laboratory um, i think uh, definitely uh, the participants of today's uh, uh, lecture i think they are all uh, enriched with the knowledge of uh, particularly the post harvest uh, technology in citrus fruit crop Uh, it was a very nice presentation with a uh, lot of uh, uh, i mean uh, very clear good pictures uh, uh, those were highly i mean uh, very informative and i think our students have very much benefited uh, by this talk uh, and your last slide uh, it was very excellent i think with that last one slide you have um, uh, given a, a clear picture of uh, what are all the different uh, value added products that can be prepared uh, from citrus fruit you have shown that um, mandarin but uh, it reflects to all uh, citrus fruit crops it was really very wonderful i think with that one slide uh, um, uh, one slide it, it has uh, given a lot of information uh, thank you dr sudhakar raghur for your excellent presentation i think um, Uh, we must, uh, uh, on behalf of our honourable vice chancellor and all the university officers and today's participants, uh, I express my uh, sincere thanks for your kind acceptance and uh, and sparing your valuable time. Almost one and a half hour you were with us in today's program. Uh, though you were, I think, uh, I think you have uh, totally recovered. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I am alright. Yes, few days back. The coffee is there, but it is I am alright. Uh, yes, yes, yes. In spite of uh, some uh, difficulty, you were able to attend this program. We are really very much thankful to you uh, uh, for uh, accepting our invitation and presenting very wonderful lecture uh, for the benefit of our students. Um, I think uh, uh, if there are any questions from the participant side, uh, I think uh, we can uh, have some uh, two to three minutes time. Uh, if there are any questions from the participant side, they can ask. Uh, our expert uh, and even uh, uh, dr swaraj lakshmi is seen here uh, good evening sir good evening she, she is also at, i think dr swaraj lakshmi uh, she is also looking after the post harvest uh, technology at our college um, i think she can uh, re react uh, yes sir yes sir good evening sir sir we are thankful to today's guest speaker uh, dr sudhakar rao sir Uh, though he is having some health uh, issue but uh, he accepted and uh, joined today for our uh, session uh, sir excellent presentation sir uh, even uh, this is a um, program for uh, elp students those um, they can adopt uh, that on uh, some technologies in uh, value addition of uh, citrus fruits sir acid lime oranges mandarins they can uh, prepare different types of products value added products uh, by using uh, this uh, the flow chart that is given for extraction of pectin from citrus peel uh, citrus seed uh, can be used citrus uh, albedo and citrus uh, peels uh, the, as uh, nowadays uh, even our university is focusing on uh, um, entrepreneurship so there are there is a lot of scope sir for students uh, they can adopt uh, uh, these procedures for development of different products and also about uh, harvesting process and um, Uh, packing 
this is also very very important sir awareness can be created among the forming community uh, when they are going out as a graduates uh, they they can guide the farmers with this technology they can guide the farmers sir how can they protect their product and uh, how export quality fruits can be produced and how it can be uh, stored uh, they will give good guidance to the farmers also sir uh, by this uh, uh, today they got good awareness about uh, post harvest management and processing they can adopt these technologies well, thank you sir for giving um, a very good uh, excellent presentation uh, and uh, it is this is this is very very useful for the students sir Uh, for the participants of today's session thank you so much sir thank you now even if their students are other entrepreneurs if they are anybody is uh, want to have here we have started incubation facility for processing we have the full juice line we have the drying line other facilities are there so they can use that in the beginning i am just talking about the entry of course these are what i spoke to only for the students in future if they want to become entrepreneurs without investing this one Uh, IHR also got uh, incubation facility for value addition. We have the full uh, juice line with the batch and everything. Drying lines are there. Okay, packing lines are there. Uh, vacuum packing, everything is there. So cold storage are there. They can store here only uh, and then uh, make it three, four cold rooms are there for incubators itself. Okay, so this is just for information in future. Yes, sir. They can utilize. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Ah. Uh... are there any any other queries from the participant side students side uh, i think uh, uh, one question in the chat box uh, sudhakar garu uh, one question from uh, iresh kumar uh, is there any method or tool to identify the amount of wax coated Uh, whether it is in uh, whether it is in permissible limit or not uh i actually we don't have but uh, the thing is the thickness of the wax nobody can coat uh, whatever the thickness they want it will instead of helping it will uh, rot it will go to because the fine force will be there on the uh, fruit surface so once that is clogged that is the uh, problem when i compare the shrink wrapping and uh, film wrapping with the, your waxing if somebody goes very high concentration the pores will completely get uh, blacked so that will that will lead to anaerobic respiration okay so nobody can go for very high uh, thickness so that problem is there so this measurement uh, i don't have idea but it is maybe uh, under microscope there will be there is a possible there but that is not required because it, based on the concentration it will form that much thin only so it will allow the uh, it should allow some uh, respiration okay otherwise it will be harmful instead of the helping okay is it permitted sir international yeah yeah that they now all edible waxes are permitted only thing is the people uh, our mentality is that that we will try to get it a uh, adulteration <laughs> so there is only problem okay otherwise uh, wax coating is permanent in citrus it is still because nobody is eating peel yes when we are eating apple with uh, wax there is no problem if it is a permitted I, yes. that's why i told now these waxes are mainly the plant wax carnauba so Arnaba. that is a plant so another is a bhai so that is a carbohydrate Arnaba. otherwise is a uh, protein based there is a uh, so uh, there are uh, gl uh, gluten all so many are protein uh, uh, waxes okay carbohydrate or fat these are all edible but in case of citrus we need not call as edible because we are not eating yes in other food like apple suppose you are putting in another food where you are eating along with the wax still they are permitted okay so there no issue they are permitted okay uh thank you dr sudhakar agar i think uh, it is time now to uh extend a formal word of thanks uh, to the today's uh, guest speaker i think may now request dr shivaram krishna uh, to kindly propose formal word of thanks to today's program so thank you so much sir for your uh, excellent presentation it was highly useful and we too understand so many things 
Uh, thank you very much, sir. <coughs> now it is time to close the session. Uh, here is a formal uh, vote of thanks uh, by me on behalf of the university as well as the organizing uh, College of Articulation and Anthology, sir. Sir, this uh, graduate readiness program is a marathon event involving uh, 30 guest lectures uh, extended over a period of uh, 20 weeks. Sir. So it was a, a lengthy program going on um, uh, by involving so many experts uh, across the country. A brainchild of our uh, um, Vice Chancellor, Dr. T. Janakram Garu, uh, supported by the university officers uh, in conducting the year of citrus uh, more effectively, sir. We are all thankful to them for providing an opportunity to learn so many things sir, about uh, the citrus crop, starting from the varieties, planting, and uh, um, uh, harvest, first harvest, uh, uh, and uh, etc. About uh, entire in detail about the citrus crop, sir. And now uh, my um, um, uh, heartfelt thanks and the sincere gratitude, gratitude goes to Dr. Dewey Sakra, sir, for your excellent presentation. And uh, it is a highly informative and detailed lecture, sir. And um, uh, I hope that uh, this lecture uh, would be highly useful for our students. Uh, uh, and uh, the same information, they can use it for their future endeavors. Thank you very much, sir, for your presence uh, during the program. Thank you very much. <coughs> and uh, my heartfelt thanks to um, our associate dean, uh, Dr. B. Srinivasa, sir, uh, who is uh, acting as the co convener I mean, convener of the entire program, of uh, this uh, uh, graduate readiness program. And he is the torch bearer of the program, sir. He is always uh, keeping himself, uh, um, encouraging us, uh, motivating us in conducting the, this program more effectively, uh, without whom uh, we would have not uh, conducted this program so much effectively, sir. Thank you so much, sir, our lady, sir. And uh, um, our co conveners uh, uh, Dr. K.T. Vekramnagaru, the principal scientist and head, Horticulture Station, Anantaraj Petak. And um, um, uh, Dr. R. Nagaraj Garu, uh, citrus Research Station, um, head of the research, head of the Citrus Research Station, uh, Tirupati, and uh, Dr. C. Madhumadigaru, Citrus Research Station, Petluru, um, uh, um, for their uh, for helping us in uh, designing the program and also in identifying the right experts from across the uh, country. And uh, <coughs> I would like to thank our course director, Dr. K. Sarajalakshmi Garu, for well planned designing of the entire curriculum of the Citrus uh, uh, Graduate Readiness Program. My gratitude grows, goes to all the organizing committee members for their uh, presence in all the activities and well implementation and execution of the entire program. And uh, I would like to thank uh, uh, Dr. Prasanna Kumar Garu, Associate Dean, uh, College of Horticulture Parvatipuram, and uh, Dr. Ramakrishna Garu, and uh, uh, Dr. Chandra Gauda, sir, Associate Deans of the uh, affiliated colleges located in Anthapuram as well as in Thadipatri. And I would like to thank all the students for their patient listening and their active participation. And I hope that this information will be highly useful for them. Thank you, uh, students, as well as the staff who are participating in this program. Further, uh, uh, last but not least, uh, the screen behind of this entire program, I would like to thank uh, Dr. Johan and uh, Mr. Nagendra for their assistance in conducting the virtual meet effectively. Thanks, one and all. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, uh, Dr. Sudhakar Ravar. Thank you very much for your. Uh, thank you. <laughs> thank uh, you. Once sir. again, I thank you uh, for, for your kind participation in this program. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Shall I leave? Yes. D Dr. Ramana. Uh, Okay, uh, I, I think uh, uh, with this, uh, we end this program. Thank you, Ananda. Sir, thank you, sir. Ready, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you, madam. I, thank you. Uh, very nice program today, sir. Yes, yes, yes. It was very, uh, very useful program today we have. Thank you. Once again, I uh, thanks all the participants of today's program. I think we can call it ready now. <laughs>